y'all, what's up, it's Caitlin, and welcome back to my channel. So today is a little interesting. We are gonna be doing a full face of makeup I have only worn once. Being on YouTube, you try out so many products because you wanna stay on top of everything. And once you try out a trendy product, you may or may not go back to it. And when I was organizing my drawers the other day, I really realized there are a ton of products that are just sitting there, which kind of makes me feel wasteful, but it also got my gears grinding that I should put these to use somehow. So I started playing on the idea and I'm like, okay, a full face of makeup I don't use anymore. No, that doesn't really sound good. <laughs> and then I was like, a full face of makeup I've only used once because there were not just the products in this video, there are other products that I have only used once. So I went through my drawers, I picked the ones that I really have high hopes for, and I put them in this video. This was an interesting video. I will say some stuff that were hits before are misses now. There is one product that I still have high hopes for that I still want to keep testing out because it will kill me to put it in my miss drawer for the month. Also, hope you're going to stick around for my story time. I will put the time in the description box of where the story time starts about my little incident today. <laughs> Today was a rough day, today was a rough day. I just needed to come home and play with makeup and I feel so much better now that I did. But that is what we are gonna be doing in today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoy it. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. And when you subscribe, hit that post notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a brand new video. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids and to do that, I'm gonna use this. This is by Maybelline. This is the 24 hour color tattoo metal eyeshadow in the shade Barely Branded. So the reason I got this is frankly just because I like to look at Pinterest a lot for makeup dupes and good drugstore products that maybe I've missed. And I saw that this was kind of like a dupe for like the MAC paint pot that people use to prime their eyelids. So I wanted to go ahead and give it a try and see if it was comparable to my NYX eyeshadow base, which if I remember correctly, I think this worked out okay, but I only used it that one time. So I'm going to go ahead and dip into that using this Japanese brush. This is the 726. This is a huge flat brush. So I'm going to go ahead and dip into this and I'm going to prime my eyes. I will say it is thicker, much thicker than my NYX eyeshadow base. And the problem with it being thick is it usually will not put an even base down. You have to really make sure you spread it out. Yeah, it definitely does not apply as smooth as my NYX eyeshadow base. Okay, so for eyeshadow today, I'm going to be going into this Morphe palette. This is the 35G Bronze Goals palette. So this palette came out a while back and I got it because frankly, this is my cup of tea. I mean, all of these nude colors, these pops of metallics, these are gorgeous. My problem with this is I have only used it once because in my opinion, I feel like the shadows are just too tightly packed. I don't really have that much of a problem with the mattes, but the shimmers, I just have a really hard time getting into, even with a brush, even if I spray it, I just have such a hard time. And even trying to get it with my finger, I feel like I don't get a lot. Like I'm really going in there and I don't get barely anything. I love Morphe. Morphe is one of my top favorite brands in the whole world, but this specific palette, I feel like it's too tightly packed, especially when it comes to the shimmers. But I'm gonna go ahead and give it another try because frankly, there are some shades in here I'm dying to use. All right, and we are going to get started. So I think the first color I'm gonna go in with is gonna be in the second row, like right in the middle. It's this nice warm nude shade. I'm going to go in with that using a Morphe M518 brush. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this up and just stamp it into the crease. Y'all know stamping has been one of my favorite things to do now when applying eyeshadow. And I got this from Nikki Tutorials. She started not that long ago. She started stamping her pigment in where she wanted it and blending later. And me personally, I feel like that's had such a good effect on the outcome and presentation of my eyeshadow. So we are just wanting to stamp this in the crease from inner to outer corner. I will say the color is beautiful, however I don't think this is the right base to do this with, especially because I can see like the creasing right here and I can also tell like where the product didn't evenly like lay down. It's kind of showing right here, it's very choppy. Yeah, even on this side like right here, it's not wanting to take any product at all. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but like right here, there's like a whole path that is not taking any pigment. So I'm just going to keep stamping it right there and see if maybe we can build it up. Y'all hear the siren? Come here for me. So right off the bat, I can tell you that this little eyeshadow base dupe kind of thing is something I will not be going for again. 
I really second guessed doing this video just because I didn't know if it would be that interesting. But it is kind of interesting now to see something you thought was a hit become a strong miss. Okay, I think that's the best it's going to get. So what I'm going to do now is with the product that's left on the brush, you're going to go on that very outer edge and make small side to side circular motions to blend it out. And I mean soft, like you barely want your bristles of the brush to move. You just want to make a nice gradient effect. Okay, so the next color I think I'm going to take is going to be in the third row, second from the left. It's going to be like this nice brownish, almost maroon shade. I'm going to take that using a Morphe M573, another fluffy brush, and I'm going to dip into this. I'm going to dip into that and I'm going to start stamping that on the outer V. And what we're doing is we are just slowly smoking this outer V out. So far these colors are coming out amazing. I think it is just the base underneath it. Okay, to smoke it up even a little more, I'm going to take this even darker maroon shade towards the bottom. On that same brush, I'm going to dip into that. I'm going to put this right on the outer V, so right at the edge. And what I like to do is just take small circular motions. We're just going to do a small circle right at the outer V. You can't tell as much now, but I'm still having some trouble with that patch that didn't take any product. All right, before I go in with my lid shade, I think I wanna add one more color to the very top of my crease. So I'm gonna take this Luxie 243 Precision Blending Brush. This I got in the Ipsy bag a few months ago. And I'm gonna go in with one of the lightest tones in the palette. I'm gonna go in with the second from the top. This is a very, very skin-like nude, if that makes any sense. I'm gonna dip into that. And I'm just gonna run this carefully at the edge just so there's a secondary color right there. Okay, so now that we did that, we're gonna go ahead and go in with a shimmer. And one I have been dying to using is right smack dab in the middle. This one, this like metallic copper shade. Ooh, I've been wanting to use that. I really like this one, but I also really love like this cranberry one over here. But I think I'm gonna go in with this metal one because it's just calling me. But I'm gonna go in with that shade smack dab in the middle. I'm so excited. I'm gonna take a Morphe M167. This is a flat brush. I'm gonna dip into that and see even like going into the palette. This is what I'm talking about. Even like going in it, you barely get anything. So it's like that's how tightly packed they are. Okay, so we got some on the brush. So what I'm gonna do, I'm not even gonna apply it dry. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna be using this later. This is the Milani Make It Dewy Spray. I'm gonna spray my brush and I'm gonna put this on my lid from inner corner to about the middle. I mean, it's pretty. It's not as blinding as I thought it would be. I mean, it's a pretty color, don't get me wrong, but it's like, it takes a lot of work to even get a good payoff, which I've never had this problem with Morphe eyeshadows. I usually love Morphe eyeshadows. But it's like, I feel like it takes a lot of work to get any kind of payoff. And then it's like, when I do get payoff, I feel like it looks too chunky. Like it makes my eyelid look like too, I don't know how to explain it. You know how like when you put too much eyeshadow in one place, it like makes your eyelid look like it's like folded. That's how I feel right now. See this palette, I just don't know. I mean, it has payoff, but it takes a hell of a lot of work. Okay, so to blur out those edges from the shimmer, I'm gonna go back in with that shade on the second row that we first used in our crease. I'm gonna take that on a Japanesque 213 brush. This is just another flat brush. And I'm going to carefully blend out the edges of that shimmer. Blend them together, make them become one, that kind of thing. Okay, so moving on to the face. We're gonna first go in with this Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray. So I'm not actually sure if I've ever used this. When I was going through my drawers seeing what is something I've only used once, I came across this, this was like hidden in the back. So I'm not even sure I've used it yet, but it was open, there was water in the spray, so I had to have used it at least once. But if I can't remember, hopefully it's either once or I just opened it and never used it. But this is Hydrate, Illuminate, and Set, and it is up to a 16 hour wear. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and I'm going to use this as my primer water. I like the smell. The sprayer is a little more dense than I'm used to, but not bad and it really covers your whole face. All right, and then for my primer, I'm gonna be going in with this Revlon Photo Ready Rose Glow Hydrating and Illuminating Primer. This I know I've only used once. I used this with the Photo Ready Candid Collection when it first came out. 
So I'm going to use this. If I remember correctly, I didn't really think this made a... Damn these nine animals. If I remember correctly, I don't think this really made a difference in my skin, but we're going to try it today. So it comes with one of those little droppers. So I'm going to get some in there, put it on my hand. I don't know how much I need, so I'm just going to get like two. So it is very runny. Throw this together. So this feels a little water-based, not a lot. It seems to be going into the skin rather nicely. And it's drying down fast too. So that primer feels very nice. Looking at my skin, I don't really see a difference. Like I don't think it made a difference. My pores are, can still see are visible. Um, if anything, it gave my skin a lot more luminosity to it. Um, but consider we used a dewy primer water and illuminating primer, and now we're going in with a luminous foundation. So we are going to look very dewy today. <laughs> the foundation I'm going to be going in with is by Flower Beauty. This is the Light Illusion Foundation. So this is luminous makeup, nude skin feel, all day wear. It has SPF 18 in it. It says broad spectrum SPF 18 sunscreen. So at the time I bought two shades. I bought the shade Shell and the shade Warm Beige. I think the only reason I bought these two was because these are the only shades I felt like I could make work maybe if I mixed them. Um, looking at them right now, Shell is going to be way too light. Um, warm Beige may actually work. It may be a little yellow. We're going to go ahead and try this. I haven't used it in a while, so I'm going to go ahead and shake it up. This I know for a fact I only used once because Flower Beauty, I want to say, was maybe my second video I ever posted. If y'all just joined my channel, I'm so happy you're here, but don't judge me on my first few videos. I mean, nobody's first few videos are bomb and mine definitely wasn't. So this is a glass packaging, it comes with a lid, and I love the lid too, because when you're putting it on, it almost feels like it's suction, like it won't come off. So I love the lid and it's a pump. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this. Let's see what we're working with here. Okay, it's a little yellow, but I'm just gonna make it work. I'm not gonna mix shell in right there. So I'm just gonna put some on my face. This definitely feels thick. So I'm gonna take my elf sponge, y'all know I love this, and we're just gonna blend this in. So this definitely smells like sunscreen, but I personally don't mind that. I know a lot of people do. I personally don't. Okay, so there is what the foundation is looking like, and overall, I really like it. It is not too luminous, like I was scared it would be, and it blended out really easily. It's not fast drying, which after applying it, like all the swipes on my forehead, I was scared it would be, but it's not. I will say my pores are still pretty prominent, but I'm gonna blame that on the primer considering I felt like this rose glow thing didn't really do much. But I think we're good on foundation. So now we're gonna go in with concealer and I'm gonna be bringing out the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Contour Concealer. And I just noticed that it's called a contour concealer. That's interesting. So I have the shade. So I have the shade Fair. I can't remember if I've used this on my channel. I know I used it at least once. And I want to say I did not like it. But we're going to go ahead and take that. The doe foot's also really weird. It's like at an angle. But I'm assuming that's because it's like contouring like they say. So I'm going to go ahead and dip into this. And we're going to apply it. So it looks pretty sheer applying it. It doesn't look like a full coverage. So I know what y'all are waiting for. Y'all saw in the name of my video, I said I almost died. Not clickbait, but kind of, but not really. So there is a little story time in this video. So basically how the story goes is I left for work this morning and when I turned on my truck, um, an alert came up saying that my brake fluid level was low. And this is the first time it ever came up. Um, so I was like, okay, I'll go to a gas station real quick and get some brake fluid. Well, I go to throw it and drive and my brakes don't work. <laughs> my brakes didn't work at all. So I'm going downhill out of my driveway when my brakes don't work. So I hurry and throw on the emergency brake and slam and get it into park. And my husband comes out and he's like, oh, you need brake fluid, I'll go get it for you. So my husband went and got my brake fluid, he puts it in the truck, the alert goes away, I pump the brakes, get the fluid in there, brakes work fine. So I'm going to work and I'm on the freeway and then it comes up again, not even 15 minutes later. So I'm like, oh my God. I'm like freaking out because I'm like, I do not want to die today. I'm freaking out because I'm like, okay, you see it in the movies all the time, like the brakes go out and the car flips and there's flames. Like you see the dramatic part of it in a movie and you never know how you're gonna react if God forbid that ever happens to you. 
So I call my husband and I tell him, hey, the brake thing came on again. I'm freaking out. What do I do? Oh, this is fast drying. Uh -uh. And he's like, well, are your brakes working? And I try, I get in the slow lane and I test them and yeah, they're working. So he's like, well, how far away from work are you? I said, maybe 10 minutes. And he's like, okay, go as far as you can. If you feel like you're, you feel unsafe, pull over and, I'll, and we'll get towed. So I kept driving and every now and then I would get in the slow lane to test my brakes and I would notice they were working less and less. And I'm like, okay, please just let me get to work. If y'all don't know me, I am a workaholic. I do not like to miss work. I don't like to be late to work. And that's really my husband's fault because before I got married, I didn't give a damn. I didn't care if I was late for work. But my husband and his family, they like to be at work like hours early. They're overachievers. Um, this is like super fast drying, my God. I'm gonna pause the story time real quick and I'm going to set my face because this concealer is creasing really, really bad. So to set my face, I'm gonna go in with the Flower Beauty Translucent Powder. I only used this once as well in that video. So we're gonna open this and this is almost like a skin tone translucent powder. Don't know if you can see that. But we're gonna go in with this, I'm gonna use my sponge. Okay, under eyes and nose are set, so let's continue the story time. So yeah, I literally prayed to God saying, please just let me make it to work. Please, I gotta get there. So thankfully I did, but the closer and closer to work I got, the less and less my brakes were working. I said this on my Power Makeup Sunburn Edition video, but if y'all don't know what I do for a living, I'm a full-time nanny. Um, so when I got to the mother's subdivision, when I got outside her subdivision, my brakes gave out. My brakes gave out, they did not work at all, right outside her subdivision in Katy. And if y'all are familiar with the Houston area, and if you're familiar with Katy, traffic is insane. Especially coming in and out of her subdivision, because it's like, it's not just a subdivision, like a neighborhood. There's streets, there's a school. So it's like, there's traffic. So I managed to turn into her subdivision, and I did not accelerate at all. I literally rolled to her house. I rolled to her house. Luckily, I have to be at work at 7. And because of all these problems, I didn't get to work until maybe 7.45. Um, and luckily, a lot of people were already gone or they were going the opposite way. I was going into the neighborhood. They were coming out. So luckily, there wasn't traffic coming my way. But I literally rolled to her house and threw it in park right in front. So then I called my husband, told him what happened. He ended up not going into work. He texted his boss and told him what happened. Um, and he came to work to be with me. And we got it towed, which was the saddest thing in the world. <laughs> which honestly sounds like first world problems because I mean, that's not the saddest thing in the world. But for me it is just because my truck's something I'm very proud of. And it's like, just like I said, this is something like you see all the time in movies, right? But you never think of what it would do to you. Like what would your reaction be when it happens to you? The light at the end of the tunnel is the master brake cylinder, which is what was leaking, which is what caused my brakes to go out, is actually under recall for my truck. So that is the light at the end of the tunnel. It's being fixed. The bad thing is I will not have my truck for two days. And the even worse thing is we had to take my husband's car home from Katie to Tomball with no AC. His car has no AC. I'm just, like I've said, he's an overachiever. I don't like to do stuff on time and I, we've just never gotten around to fix it. So, you know, over a 100 degree heat index, no AC in Texas. Y'all do the math. But that is the end of story time, so we're gonna keep moving along. I just set my face with that powder, and overall it did a good job. It didn't really chunk up any places. I felt like my pores are a little more concealed, um, not that much. My only con to this powder is it is almost giving me a milk of magnesia smell. Y'all know that nasty cherry milk of magnesia your mama and daddy used to make you drink whenever you had, you know, problems. That's kind of what the smell of this is giving me, but overall it's a really nice powder. Um, another con for me is the really bulky packaging just to get this much product. Kind of unnecessary, but it is cute. This would look cute like just sitting on a vanity. Um, it's a cute con concept. Okay, so to bronze the face, I'm going to go in with this by Profusion. This is the Contour 1 palette. I bought this for one of my very first videos. This was a full face of Profusion Cosmetics. So I'm going to open this up, and I think what I'm going to do... I'm going to take my usual bronzing brush, and I'm going to go in with the color Light Sculpt right here. I'm going to dip into that. So I got that, and we're going to bronze our face. It's a pretty color. I think I'm just so used to that new L'Oreal bronzer y'all know I've been loving that I'm kind of like, meh. 
but it's pretty. It's definitely buildable, which is good. It's more of an ashy tone bronzer, which is honestly what I should be using instead of the L'Oreal one. But the L'Oreal one just gives me such a nice bronze. I just don't care. I'm going to take my usual stippling brush and just blend that out a little bit. All right, then we're going to take some of that same shade and I'm going to run it down my nose. Okay, instead of going into my translucent powder to cut my cheeks, I'm actually going to take this shade in the contour palette. It's called Cream White. It almost looks like a banana shade. I'm going to take my sponge and go into that. And I'm going to use this. Let's see, it'll go right here. Ooh. That party. I always feel like I do my baking uneven. But then I try to convince myself. Have y'all seen, like that comedy video it's like i think her name's angela i can't remember what it's like the nail lady and she's like oh this finger's longer than the other and the nail lady's like oh no honey your nail's crooked it's like that's what i kind of convinced myself in my face like oh my face is crooked all right i zoomed in a little closer because we're going to do some eyebrows so i'm going to be using this flower beauty draw the line eyebrow pencil this is in the shade blonde i believe yep y'all know i do not like eyebrow pencils i do not like them at all i love pomades but I'm going to go ahead and give this a try. This was also in my full face of Flower Beauty that I've never really touched again. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a spoolie. This is the closest one. This is an eyebrow pencil by e.l.f. I'm just going to use a spoolie for this just to get them in place. All right, I'm going to take that Flower Beauty eyebrow pencil. I'm going to pull it up because it is retractable. All right. Let's see how this goes. Oh, I don't like it. Nothing against pencils, guys. I am just a pomade person. Now, I will say that this gives off way more pigment than other pencils I've tried. But still, I'm just like, meh. I mean, it's not bad. Is it my best work? No. But it's not bad. <laughs> They've seen better days. The eyebrows have definitely seen better days. They're not bad. I will say that that eyebrow pencil gives off a lot more pigment than a lot of other ones I've tried. Um, do I plan on switching to pencils? No. Um, I'm a pomade girl, but this wasn't bad. It, w it wasn't my favorite, but it wasn't bad. So now that those are on, I am going to dust away the bake real quick. Ooh. Okay. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I am gonna go off camera, put on some of my lashes, and I will be right back so we can keep moving on. Okay, we're back. Lashes are on. So I'm going to coat my lashes with some mascara. And this is by a brand called, I'm going to say this right. I think it's Samoy. Um, it says Samoy for me. I got this at HEB. <laughs> that right. Okay, so I have never used this on my channel. Um, when I went to HEB, there was a whole end cap of this brand and it was on clearance it was a new brand i had never seen before and i'm like okay this is going to be great a new brand at heb this is going to be awesome for a video so i bought pretty much every single product they had at the time um and i believe this mascara was on clearance for only three or four dollars um but then i looked up the regular price and this little tube of mascara retails for 16 dollars now, I wouldn't be knocking it if it was like a full-size mascara, but girl, let's be honest, you ain't. Um, so I ended up not putting this brand on my channel at all. I did use this one time, and I didn't think it was too great um, for how size the tube is first and then how large the wand is. Makes me believe that there's not even a lot of product in here because of how big the wand is. I mean, there has to be room somewhere, right? But I'm going to use this just to blend my real lashes in with my falsies. See, and it's like, I feel like there's barely anything on the wand. It's not really doing a lot for me. Yeah, it's not really doing anything. This to me honestly feels kind of like a dollar store mascara. I just feel like nothing's on there. Yeah, I'm just not impressed. I feel like barely any product comes off in the wand at all. Um, it doesn't really add any color to make the lashes even more dramatic. So... All right, before we move on to cheeks, I'm going to throw on some eyebrow gel. So this is from the NYX Bear With Me Cannabis Collection. This is the Brow Setter. This is just a clear color. I did use this once off camera, and I was kind of in between. Y'all know I love my brow gels, but first of all, the thing that put me off was how tiny the little spoolie is. I mean, we're talking tiny, and then it's like a white color. It's not even a clear, so we're going to try to put this on. Almost the same thing with mascara. I feel like I'm barely getting any product off. I have to be questioning myself, like, is it going on? It's almost one of those products where you want to get some, like, on the tip and just 
dot it on your brow to make sure it's on there and then brush it through yeah not too impressed with this either i mean same thing like with mascara i feel like barely any product goes on and then the size of that spoolie is just ridiculous okay so for blush i'm going to be going into this flower beauty lift and sculpt contouring palette so this you know what there's a lot of flower beauty in here so same thing this was in that video i used it once haven't really gone back to it just because this pink isn't really something i typically go for i really go for like my darker pink slash mauvey tones and even recently i've been going to a lot of peach tones um, but we're gonna go ahead and grab this. I'm going to take, I'm gonna use this Eco Beauty Stippling Brush. I've been really liking this for blush. I'm gonna dip into that middle. That's why I didn't use it. Now I remember this had like all that fallout right there. I'm not sure if you can see that. This had a ton of fallout, now I remember. Yeah, a lot of fallout there. Oh, wow. Okay, that is crazy. I'm trying to go in with a light hand just because this pink isn't really I would love to use my peach palette right now, but I use that all the time and this is stuff I've only used once. So I'm just trying to go in with a light hand of pink. So I totally forgot to even say what I was using to line my lips. This is the Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner in the shade Bare to Comet. Y'all honestly know I love this shade. I don't have a lip liner I don't like. Y'all know I love all my lip liners. So the lipstick I'm gonna use is by Milani. This is from the Bold Color Statement Matte Lipstick Collection. This is in the shade I Am Smart. And this is more of a brown toned nude. So I have only used this once and I loved it. Um, I don't really have a lipstick that I don't ever use. So I love this shade, don't get me wrong. The only thing I will say is it is a little rough to put on. You definitely kind of have to drag it across your lips. It doesn't exactly glide. All right, for highlighter, we have another Profusion product. This is the Profusion Highlight and Contour 1 palette. I actually just realized that this whole bottom row is the same shades we used in that Contour 1 palette. And now that I'm thinking about it, I think I had already realized that in my Profusion video. If I remember correctly, I didn't exactly like these because they were super chunky. And even looking at it, I can see like where I went in with my brush on this color. Um, so I'm gonna take my Morphe M501 and dip into that. Yeah, a lot comes off on the brush. So let's see. Is there nothing there? Oh yeah, there's a little something. So it is definitely a highlighter you have to build up depending on what you like. Y'all know I love a blinding highlight. So he's building. I've started to drag my highlighter down like towards the apples of my cheeks because I really like it to show. That's pretty. All right, we are almost done. I'm going to go back into that bronze goals palette. What I'm giving to do. I'm going to take a Morphe M326. This came in the Artistry Brush Collection. What I'm first going to do is I'm going to go in with that really deep maroon color that we used to really smoke out our very outer corner. All right, and I'm going to put this on the very outer part of my well, under eye. All right, next I'm going to take that really warm nude and I'm going to put that on the rest of my lower lash line. Okay, and then to blend out that lower lash line so it's not so harsh, I'm going to take that skin tone nude up here and I'm going to take that using a Morphe M431. It's a nice dome brush. I'm going to dip into that and I'm going to blend out the lower lash line. Okay, before we set our face, I feel like we need some fun in our eyes. So I'm going to take this LA Girl Shockwave Neon Lip Liner, this nice hot red one. This is in the shade Fiery. And I'm going to throw this on the waterline. All right, we're going to grab that Milani Make It Dewy, and we're going to go ahead and set our face. And that, guys, concludes today's full face of makeup I've only used once. I pretty much find it easier to talk about the things that I didn't like rather than the things I did. So the things for sure I did not like is the same way mascara. I felt like it barely had any payoff. It barely had any product on the brush. Um, I don't even really feel like it did anything to my lashes besides give them some lift. Flat out, I would never pay the $16 price tag for this. Never. The NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. This was just, it was sheer. Um, it did look like at first it was having some good payoff, but it creased really, really easily. Thank God, like I really blew out my lower lash line because there is some bad creasing on my under eyes. It was also really, really fast drying. Now that's kind of my fault because I decided to do my story time in the middle of my concealer, which probably isn't a smart choice, um, but this was still super fast drying. And the NYX Bear With Me Cannabis Brow Setter. I just do not like the wand at all on this. This is just too tiny. 
Um, it almost has the same thing as mascara. I felt like there was barely any product coming off of it. Just to be sure I had some product, I just dotted it all over my eyebrow and then brushed it out. Whereas with my other eyebrow gels or eyebrow mascaras, I never have to do. Everything else was pretty much a hit. Um, something I really, really did enjoy was this Flower Beauty Foundation. I have really gotten back into this. I will be using this more. Um, the powder was okay, but like I said, it had a really strong milk and magnesia smell. Um, the highlight from Profusion is kind of an iffy for me. Um, I could see me using it on other people, but is it something I would reach for like right off the bat? No. Another thing I want to keep trying out is this Morphe 35G Bronze Goals palette. I really do not want to say that this is a miss, um, but for me, the shimmers just take a lot of effort to get any sort of payoff. I'm also wondering if maybe I had a defective palette. Maybe they were just pressed down too tight and that's why. I've heard that that's kind of a thing. Um, so maybe I got a defective palette because for me, the shimmers are really hard to work with, but the mattes are flawless. Speaking of eyeshadow, one thing that is a miss for me is this Color Tattoo Studio little paint pot thing. Um, this was horrible. Um, I will say the only kind of cool effect it had was it gave me like a natural brow highlight. But other than that, I did not enjoy using this at all for my base. Um, it did leave a lot of choppiness right here on the outer V. Um, but I was able to work with it, but this isn't something I would reach for. So this actually was a miss for me. But that is it for today's video, guys. Um, let me know if you've tried out any of these products. If you love them, if you hate them, what are your thoughts? Let me know down in the comments below. But thank you guys for watching. I love you so much, and hopefully I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.